you should make a film. Here's why. Mmm, a nice lazy evening accompanied by relaxing FitMC video. 2B2T, the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft. One of the most fascinating experiments to study a world with no rules. Not only that, but everyone who wants to wield unimaginable strength, they can have it. It's great as escapism for those who long for a world not governed by plutocrats or cacistocrats, but rather a world governed merely by the self-centered yet empathetic nature of man. What kind of a variety of people play the game? How seriously do they take it? Oh wow, people have actually tried to make money off of 2B. Not only that, but some people actually have committed crimes just to get ahead in 2B. <laughs> That's one epic Walter White moment. No, no, seriously, who would ever do that? Who would ever do that? Who, who would ever? Hmm, a nice 30 minute boiling hot shower on a free afternoon. Man, this world is going crazy. Could there be one singular thing to blame for the hardships we're experiencing and are going to experience in the future? The inherent evil of man, money, Capitalism? Corporatism? How would the world have to change to fix all our current issues? And what issues would that create in turn? And what if things like 2B2T would exist in this world? Ever since little me was watching Builder Bob and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I wanted to tell stories and make movies. And there it was. A stupid enough idea that I just had to do it. Total obsession. So. A guy lives in an alternative form of society where money doesn't exist, but is replaced by labor vouchers, aka work points. Hmm, should they have a chip? Yeah, they, they definitely should have a chip. I mean, of course, it's a futuristic dystopia. Of course they're gonna have a chip. Yeah, this man should be miserable. To add to the cake, what if he's a hard on capitalist fan and he loves money? He absolutely adores money. Could he be the Walter White of 2B2T? Uh, I already hate this man. I call him Cole. I'm gonna make him into an absolute piece of manure. I actually really love unlikable pieces of poopy in my media. I have to admit, I am a Walter White enjoyer. A Lou Bloom enjoyer. Perhaps a Patrick Bateman enjoyer to some extent. Oh, 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 no, not, but not because they're sexy Sigma boys. No, they're absolutely not. They are disturbing characters that are designed to be fundamentally unlikable. And Cole will be one of them. I'm definitely gonna take it too far, aren't I? And I'll just create a character that no one can really- Negativity has never taken anyone anywhere. Focus on the vibes, follow the passion. You know what's right. Okay, what can I do? I have produced music since what, I was 13 years old, so I can probably handle the soundtrack. I've operated cameras before, I can film when necessary. And I know how to use After Effects, so special effects won't be an issue, and same with Premiere. I can also cut it. Okay, but how about the game scenes? Maybe the game scenes should be like visual novels, I mean... I do know how to 3D model and rig characters, but rendering it all out with my 3 gig GTX 1060 would be a pain, so... I mean, it seems like the only way to go. Still frames, with some movement added with After Effects. Yeah, okay, sounds like a plan. How about the actors? I mean, I know how to act, so I can act some roles if no one else turns up. I'll, I'll ask anyone I know. I'll ask my mom, I'll ask my dad, I'll ask my neighbor. And if nothing else works, I'll sign into Tinder and ask people there. Short film, right? You know, just to test stuff out. Ah, uh, yeah. Knowing me, I have to do the most insane shit I can, because otherwise I'll spontaneously combust or something. I love doing bigger things than what I think I can actually do. So, it's definitely gonna be a full-length movie, whether I like it or not. Go ahead, little man. You can write as much as you want. 17,500 words. 
That's okay. A little too long, but I'll surely cut some scenes out. And finally, do I have money to do this? No. So I'm going to do it without it. One of my friends who's a videographer owns a camera and a mic. And my school borrows cameras for free. The phone camera is also in my pocket always if it comes down to that. But main character? Here's the problem. I don't know many actors, and it's st this character is still a pretty complex character, so I would like to have someone who... Oh, shit. I'm gonna have to be cold, won't I? I mean, it makes sense. I'm always available for myself, so in this kind of a situation, that seems like the only possibility. Now, I do have to admit, I am terrified. Scene 1. The first scene we shot was one of the flashback scenes. The one where Cole comes home and opens the VR game for the first time. I call my videographer friend, and he's in. We shoot it, I edit it, I try the still frame visual novel type of thing for the game scenes. I even test out some some, some of the VFX, you know, the, 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 this thing. And that was the first scene. Done. And... Oddly enough, I didn't cringe at it, and solely the fact that he was not cringeworthy in my eye made me want to continue. Hey man, you said you were ready to uh, do some more stuff? Yeah, yeah, what's on your mind, brother? No, I was, I was thinking of a feature-length film. Although there was an issue I had to deal with. It's visually going to be a dark film. I don't have much good lighting equipment, nor were there any free or cheap options to borrow that equipment. I had to accept the fact that the film will have visual noise, and none of the shots will look like a million dollar budget Hollywood film. But perhaps it fits the film. However... Sunlamp! I'm not even joking, but my mom got me a sunlamp to fight potential seasonal affective disorder, and to make it easier for me to wake up during the dreaded, dark, Finnish winter. But, turns out, it mimics sunlight perfectly. Some shots you wouldn't even realize were filmed at night, and some shots just benefited from the extra light. What if you don't have sun and the day and brightness, trust me? Yeah, what if you need dimmer shots with some extra light? Well, come on guys. I didn't have that either, but when you turn it against the wall or cover it with a white or gray or brown shirt, you're good. Progress was very slow at the start, and there were multitudes of reshoots and even recasting happening behind the scenes. Not only that, but I also had to go to school and do some work at the same time. A year or so went by and I glanced at the Blender timeline, made a keyframe, and another one. Whoa, that's, that's not bad. I mean, it's not perfect, but damn. I didn't know it was even possible for me to 3D animate anything that looks decent. Eevee is also a much faster render engine, and uh, I don't need a big graphics card to render with it. Ah, uh, shit, I'm gonna have to animate it, won't I? Uh, would you like to have anything with that? Coffee or tea? Nah, man. You get, you get paid for this job, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure, what's up? Then why not buy a new graphics card and render the animation scenes with ray tracing? Huh. And so I decided to buy a new graphics card and switch the cycles. Okay, that's pretty cool. Hey, you want like course credits for this film? Yeah, sure. How many hours have you been doing this? Uh, about? Uh, 2,000. Uh, no, how many hours have you- 2,000. I'll give you 25. So, then I had a deadline. Finish the film before graduating. And from now on, it's... It's grinding time. What, what happened? Three years of autopilot. What did- what was I doing? Why? Why? Your film, remember? Why? You've always wanted to be a filmmaker, no? And this is the way to do it? 
Is it? No, probably not. Then why? What choice did you have? You fear. Your life is colored by fear. You needed something to help you run from yourself, from your fears. I still fear. I know. So what now? You show it to people. But I, I don't think I'm proud. I don't think I'm proud of what I've done. Oh, you should be. You should at least be proud of yourself for getting into the finish line. Show it to people. And so, people were actually positively surprised by the quality. Yeah, sure, it's not the best film you've ever seen, but it's still a film, maybe, worth watching. Now what? You decide. I'm, I'm lost, I'm not proud, I just wasted a- You did not waste a second! What do you mean? The film is shit, what did I gain from it? What, the good times we had along the way? What do you want? More. Films? M more. Everything. So, can you now do more? Yeah. I, I can do more. I I can do more better, faster. Stronger than before I could film. I deeply think we need more big things on the internet. I think we need more incentive for people to do big stuff. You know, stuff that takes years. I, I want you, you personally, you, whoever's watching, to make a film, an album, a game, whatever. I just want you to do something huge. Own your life to it for a few years. No, don't torture or starve yourself, but dedicate a portion of your free time for something like that. Because you know you will learn a fuck ton along the way. And because it drives you. You live off the essence of artistic expression. That's why you're watching this video. Or maybe you're just my body called. He watches my videos.